Thank you, thank you very much once again. Let me welcome you back to this one aristocratic channel. And please bear in mind, uh, can you please subscribe? And then today we are going to look and then we are going to anticipate in life sciences paper two. I know that the examinations are progressing. I know that uh, you are still looking for the information. So bear in mind, uh, this is paper two, the preparatory uh, final examination that you are going to write. So grade 10, I want you to I want to see you in grade 11 and then hit the subscription button. Section A, we've got question one as usual. And then we are seeing various A options are provided as possible answers to the following questions, A to D, next to the question number in your answer book. And then number one, we are saying, what is the name of the huge land mass from which all the continents of the earth arose? They arose or they are coming from the way arose. It talks us about this coming from where does it arrive? It arises from the Pangaea. This is the uh, land uh, mass which is very dense and it is very, very uh, big. And then, if ever we are moving on again, we are in 1.1.2. .1 and then the question it says which of the following is incorrect uh, representation of the scientific name of the Homo sapien organism? So we are saying that uh, the, in, uh, the correct one it is a uh, the homo sapien, and then there's a capital letter H, and then you also uh, address whereby you are uh, giving it an underlined. Remember that, don't make a mistake, because of number D, uh, it is not a capital letter for those that can ask that particular question. And then if ever we are moving on, we can see that we are in 1.1.3. And then here they say list A, below are some of the scientific A, the features of the certain group of organisms. Remember that we've got varieties of uh, living organisms. And then we are saying that a certain feature, which is the characteristics, it tells us about how can we see that this is a particular organism. Remember that we said that organism, they live in the area and they are able to interbreed and bring off generations. Cells and uh, are eucorites, we know that these are living organisms. So that one is correct. The multicellular bodies, uh, that one is correct. And then they have got no cell wall. And then that one is correct and are all hetero uh, tropis. So we are saying that that one is correct and the correct number, therefore, it can be number D, then you get your two marks, right? And then if ever we are moving on again, uh, we can see that we've got uh, the other questions uh, which they need our attention in 1.1.4. And then we can see that uh, the question, it says a typical cardiac cycle it involves Remember the word cardiac from the heart, which is the cardiovascular, which we, which we have studied. How long uh, does it contract and relax in terms of the space of the second? And the correct answer there is number A, the atrial systole followed by the ventricular systole, whereby they are relaxing and contracting. In 1.1.5, which one of the following a psychographic factor is a psychographic physio? A graphic, uh, it's something that you can see. And then we are saying that the correct answer is number A, the altitude, which you can get a uh, the mark for that. If, uh, two, if we are in 1.2, we can see that uh, we've got give the correct biological term for each of the following descriptions that are provided below. You can write only the term next question number in your answer book. In 1.2.1, we are saying that a uh, blood or leaving the heart and uh, circulating to all parts of the body. We are saying that particular circuit of the blood, whereby there is an involvement of living in terms of circulating to the uh, all organisms of the body or organs of the body in order to receive nutrients. That is a systematic uh, system or circulation. And then we are saying in 1.2.2, with a characteristic climate, soil type, and the vegetation, we already know that is the biome in 1.2.3 the gas required by all living organisms for a cellular system of ox uh, oxygen, uh, which we inhale, and carbon dioxide, which we exhale. And then we are saying that oxygen, it plays a very, very important part in a cellular respiration. In 1.2.4, we talk about the plants adapted, a habitat is a place, and that particular plant, we are saying these are zero five. They've got a structural adaptation to live in dry conditions, because of their, uh, their uh, roots, which they collect the uh, water underground. And then in fossils, they are known as the paleontologists. The paleontologists, they are studying the study of fossils. 
And then in 1.2.6, we are saying that the movement of large masses of the land over millions that we are calling the continental drift. That is why we find some other part they were clustered in the same place. So we are saying due to the large movement that is occurring over the million of years, it causes these places to move, which we refer to as the way. We are saying that the species found in one area and nowhere else in the world, that is the epidemic, that is the particular species that is only found in one area. And then eh, we can say, for example, the Brotia is foundable in South Africa. Therefore, it can be an epidemic and it is found nowhere else. And then in 1.2.8, that part of the earth where living organisms exist, uh, all living organisms, they exist where on the biosphere. Because of Earth, if ever we are moving on again, we can see that we are in 1.2.9, the non-living components of an ecosystem, those that are non-living, they are called the abiotic factor. And then the living, they are called biotic, by the way. And then in 1.2.10, we are saying that the death of all individuals of a species. So we are saying that death as a whole, it is regarded as an extinction. If ever the species is no more, we are saying one of the examples, it can be the dinosaurs, which we are saying eh, by means of studies. It was one species that was a living species, but it is eh, became extinct over millions of years ago. And then if ever we are moving on again, we can see that we are in 1.3. And then in this question, they say, indicate whether each of the descriptions of column one applies to column A only, B only, A and B both, or none. So we are saying that we've got four choices, which you can say it's A only, it's B only, it's both A and B, or it's none of the letters. So you are going to write that in column two. Write only A, B, A and B or none next to the question number. An example that we are given, 1.3.6, A only. So we are saying that in 1.3 taxonomy. So the taxonomy, uh, it was studied and uh, proven by the Carl Liniasis. So we know that it's B only. 1.3.2, South Africa's a national flower. It is a king brotia that is found only in South Africa and nowhere else. Therefore, it's A only. 1.3.3, a movement of, uh, of water from the atmosphere to the ground. So we are saying that uh, we can receive water by means of precipitation. An example, it can be the rain. So that is A only. And then in 1.3.4, we're saying that Cambrian period, similar to the crustacean and the acranids. So we are saying that is A only the three low dies. So you write A only. If ever we are moving on again, we can see that we are in 1.3.5. And then it says now the release uh, of the carbon dioxide, which it can be written as uh, CO2. C is carbon and uh, oxygen. And then we are saying into the atmosphere. So we are saying that uh, that is A and B, which is uh, the decomposition. Uh, we are saying that uh, this decomposition material will release carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere and the combustion. So that is both A and B. So I'm saying to you, as we are moving on, you also hit the subscription button as we are moving with other questions. OK. All right, and then let us move on. When we are moving on, and we can see that uh, now we are in uh, 1.4. And then in 1.4, you can see that uh, the graph below, it shows the amount of the hemoglobin which is an absence now of the altitude for the expedition team. See that uh, here it is uh, in a uh, hundred centimeter a cube of blood. And then the PFS, it goes up until to 80 days and it started to drop expedition members in a meter. So you can see as they rise the meter and then the days of expectation also increase, but up until to the climax, then it starts to decrease, right? And then the last one, this is the numbers of millions in the red blood cell and millimeter cubed of the blood, and it is expected to be low. And then in 4.1, in what unit there was the amount of the hemoglobin in the blood measured? So it was measured, so it is measured uh, at the gram. So we must understand that uh, before we can uh, even uh, see it. All right. Okay. 
And then we are saying that the amount of measures, it is this one, whereby it shows you the metric of for you. So it's this one, and whereby we have measured in grams, and then you write your answer. You are allocated uh, per 100 centimeters of all of the team members at the beginning of the experiment. So we are saying that the hemoglobin A presented at the beginning. So we are saying uh, it's 14, so it is above that 14 point, and then we are given the mark at that particular uh, base when it's all right. And then if ever we are moving on again, we can see that in one point, that in one condition. So we are saying the answer is a uh, 6 million. It's now uh, 60. So we are saying we can see that uh, there it is uh, the answers there. All right. The graph. All right. So uh, if ever we are moving on again, uh, I want us to see again uh, before us to move on uh, to the question so that we can see proper. All right. If ever we are um, 4.4, what is the negative amount of the hemoglobin presented uh, during uh, blood, uh, during the expedition uh, of the blood? So we can you see 20 gram in one millimeter, 20 gram that we are talking about. And this is the millimeter of the millimeter now of uh, the blood. So we can see, and then I will say, and uh, there is 20. But then we can see, let me highlight those two for you. All right, answer. And then if ever we are moving on again, it says how many, uh, 500 uh, meter, then they spent 60 days. Uh, over 4,500 millimeter, they spent a 60 days, so you can see there is a 60 days that we spent, and there is a meter that we are talking about. Uh, if ever we can interpret this graph, and there is the margin that comes here, and then you write now uh, the final answer. And then, if ever we can uh, move on again, and uh, we can see that we've got the question uh, in this content, and then it says in 1.4.6, as the climbers spend more time at the higher, the numbers of the red blood cells they will increase. And then number B, the amount of the hemoglobin in the blood will also increase in this uh, nature, right? And then they say uh, in this 4.4.7, explain your answer in 1.4.6. So you're going to say, at a how up, the colder it becomes. So any of uh, the two that you can write there, you can provide, it can be accepted, it will be accepted uh, as the answer. And then uh, just make sure that when you are... Uh, Listening to this, uh, you are also taking your notes down. You are also again referring uh, to the textbooks uh, that are the external aids that we can use. All right. And then uh, I would like us to move on again and let us see when we are moving on. Again, and you can see that uh, we are just going to move on and then you get your marks there. All right. Then, if ever we are moving on again to uh, the other topic or uh, the other questions, rather, we can see that here we are going to talk about. And uh, the that we are talking about. All right. When we are studying the density of the three types of soil, and then the three uh, soil sample was taken off of the different regions. We analyzed the human content, and they were recorded down at the below the particular graph that we need now to consider. All right. And then, if ever we are moving on again, we can see that uh, this is the soil sample amenability uh, to the soil, how it can uh, retain the water capacity of allow it to pass. Remember that three types of soil they put uh, different permeabilities whereby they can allow a uh, water to move or they can retain the water uh, to move. So we are saying that uh, that is uh, regarded to as permeability to allow water to move in and to allow water to A, B, and C, which can be 2.1.1. They say according to the C, it uh, would be as the following. Why we are saying uh, that the same? Uh, there. And then because of it allows water the permeability there of the water at C. It is saying it see here, so it allows water to pass. All right. And then a uh, two point or one for the plants uh, growing in the soil sample B, which it was soil sample because of the what factors they say name two factors relating to that in low permeable water. So low permeable water, we are saying that if I, uh, which has got a closed party coming on again, and we can see that we are having the question, and then in two point one uh, four, it says state to disadvantage uh, for the soil. Why we are having, why uh, we are having humus? Uh, because of number one, uh, it improves, but two, we are saying that it improves the water retaining capacity. Number three, very much for your time and continue again to do. Thank you very much for your time and good luck on your final examination.